have a battery, a resistor, a switch, an inductor, and a capacitor. This is where you say, but Mr. Palmer, I'm going to put the oil to the Okay. The max, it's not an RLC circuit. Let's talk through what happens here. We have an EMF. I'll even give you a number. We'll make you happy there. 12 volts. Resistance is equal to 4.0 ohms. The inductance is equal to 2.0 Henry's. The capacitance, who else? The inductance is 2.0 Henry's, the capacitance is equal to 0 0.020 farads. Okay, we have the switch is, let's do it this way, it's closed for a long time and open at t is approximately equal to 0. Uh, a long time is AP parlance for? Infinity. Good. So it's closed for a long time, and then we open the switch. We're looking for two things. A, what is the energy stored in the inductor maximum? And B, what is the charge maximum stored on the capacitor? Let's start out by understanding what's going on. It's closed for a long time. So, if it's been closed for a long time, is the current class? No. no. The inductor resists a change in the current, and that will resist any change. But after a long time, that there won't be causing any. There won't be any change in that current. Therefore, what is the overall effective resistance of the inductor class? Zero. So after a long time with this switch closed, will any charge be flowing to the capacitor? No. This is essentially has a resistance of zero. So all the charges which are flowing through the switch which is closed are going to choose to go to down the inductor. None are going to go to the capacitor. So what then is the charge on the capacitor initial? At time t equals zero, there is zero charge stored on the capacitor. Because this inductor, all of the charges are going to be flowing through the inductor, and we're not going to have any charges flowing to the capacitor. So charge initial is equal to zero. When we close the switch, then, this becomes essentially an LC circuit. We end up charging the Capacitor. Okay, I'm looking for first off the energy stored in the capacitor maximum. Let's start out with the equation. Energy stored in the capacitor, Sarah Jane Jones, equation. One half L I squared. One half L I squared. Okay, L is just a constant, so we need to figure out where the current, if we're looking for the maximum value here, we need to know the maximum value uh, I max equals question one, so that we can figure out the maximum energy stored in the induction. How are we going to figure out the current maximum? Can we like draw a few loops? I, we don't need to draw loops because I think loops at this point would get us a little bit confused. There's I understand that, but we don't actually need to draw loops, John. Well then the correct key goes. No. As time goes by, what's gonna happen to the charge of the capacitor? Increase. It's gonna increase. Therefore, what's going to happen to the current through the induction? It's going to decrease. 
So when is the charge or is the current at a maximum? T equals zero. So we need the current initial. The current initial is just going to be what it was right when we opened the switch. In other words, the electric potential difference equals the current times the resistance. So the current initial equals the electric potential difference divided by the resistance, the EMF divided by the resistance, or the EMF was 12 divided by the resistance of 4. The current initial equals 3.0. So the maximum energy stored in the inductor then is going to be 1 half times the inductance, which is 2 Henry's, multiplied by the current, which we just got to be 3 squared. Okay, so we've got simple harmonic motion. We now know that nine joules of energy are stored on the inductor at its maximum value. Now, energy is going back and forth between the inductor and the capacitor. Our goal is to figure out the charge maximum. of the inductor equals energy max of the capacitor. We know the energy maximum <laughs> of the inductor is going to be equal to the energy maximum stored in the capacitor, right? Simple harmonic motion. We go back and forth between having all the energy stored in the inductor to all the energy stored in the capacitor. So we know the energy stored in the capacitor maximum is equal to 9 joules. What's the equation for the energy stored in the capacitor maximum? Please, Yuchin. Still the helps out? So, uh, Q, squared, Q squared over 2C. In this particular case, it's going to be the maximum charge squared because we're talking about the maximum energy stored in the capacitor. So we have the Q max then is going to be equal to uh, 2 times the capacitance times the energy stored in the capacitor maximum the square root of 2 times 0 0.02 times 9 all raised to the one and a half. Zero point six zero. So that's an example of a circuit where you can have a resistor, a capacitor, and an inductor, and you don't actually have the resistor, the inductor, etc. included together.